Hey, yeah, um, doing another Minecraft video. Yeah, yeah, um, so I've finished the, um, underwater base that I've been talking about for a while. Um, well, at least for the most part. Um, there isn't everything that you, you would want, like a brewing station. I didn't bother with any of that. I didn't have a library or anything like that. I don't really bother with enchanting much and anyway when I do play single player. So, yeah, um, let's go to the entrance. I, I decided to um, make it so all the ceilings um, were glass and you could see the water through them because it's really just an underground base that also happens to be under the water, under a lake, I unless you can actually see the lake, then it becomes a proper underwater base, doesn't it? Because uh, a lot of underground bases happen to have water over them, even if you don't know about it. So yeah, um, here's the entrance, uh, I'll, I'll make it... Um, I'll make it um, survival mode so I can show how uh, I would actually die if um, it was too deep. So yeah, I'm just going to jump in. Whoosh. See the air bubbles? And it triggers here. Yeah, it glitches out. It actually worked perfectly for a while. And then um, I made a mistake and there was spillage. And um, it ruined part of it. And even though I rebuilt it exactly like it was before, it still glitched out. You have to lay everything down in order, testing it as you go to make sure it doesn't glitch. Because even though the timing stay the same, it um, still likes glitching out. It's just something that's a little unreliable like that. And of course, you know, I like using lava, although since we're underground, sort of... Um, I guess it would be magma now. I don't know. I'm in the water, but I'm not really underground. I'm under water, so I, would that be magma or lava? I'm not really sure, but yeah. Okay, and now I'm in my own private room. Oh, looks like I didn't finish something here. Oops. Okay, so I'm in my private room. This is one of the last things I finished. You can see way up there, turn the lights off. It's not as bright as I wanted it to. I actually added um, a little bit of glowstone at the top so it would be a little bit brighter down here. This is slightly brighter than it was without the glowstone. I could add glowstone further down, but I don't want it bright in here without the lights. Otherwise, what's the point of the lights, right? So, yeah. So, yeah, I've just got the bed, I've got storage, I've got a crafting station, I've got the furnaces. Simple. Uh, okay, and now, oh, here's another little thing. Uh, I got, um, oh, I'm on single player right now. So, yeah, um, uh, uh, so I just go into the water. Yeah, I, w I would probably not be able to make it all the way to the top. So I'm just getting to the second floor here, sort of. It's just a little, um, I don't know, viewing station I guess. I don't know I just put this in here because I felt like I wanted something else in the room. It would it would be possible to get all the way um, up faster if um, if I made it so uh, each of these was actually um, water spawn but, but it isn't right now. I could turn it into a spawn and I'd be able to get up to the surface a lot faster but I didn't do that. I could do that in the time though. Um, but it, if nothing else can function as a, um, an alternative way of getting down without using that, which kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Okay, now I'm going to the exit. I'll just uh, turn this off now. I head to the exit. This was the last thing I finished. Um, this part I'd done already. For the most part, I just did some aesthetic stuff at the end, you know, so there was a different two space than glowstone. But that's about it. And then I did this, which in the last video I show you um, how it works. Um, so yeah, it um, retracts the reverse pistons. Then, after a short delay, it uh, pushes up the final step. And then, um, eventually, after... after um, a long delay, it will retract the step and then it will push the reverse piston back into place again. Uh, so it's a one way, but it's disguised. So I just trigger that, 
there's plenty of time to get up. And it's disguised, although it would be disguised a little better if I um, wasn't in a snowy environment. But yeah, it's pretty well disguised, I would say. You don't know it's there, unless you know it's there. Or see somebody, you know. But yeah, I like that. I like hidden stuff like that. Oh, and here you can see all my other projects testing it out. So it does ugly up the landscape a little bit. But what you gonna do? Um, I didn't want to switch between my testing world and my building world because I have to refer to my tests because I'd only just built them. So I have to refer to them because I don't remember how to build them exactly. I don't want to have to do trial and error all over again. So yeah, um... Well, that's it. That's my underground base, my underwater base, that is, which I had been planning for ages since Alpha. I had planned to build an underwater base since Alpha, and um, later on when reverse pistons were introduced, I planned on using reverse pistons. Uh, when pistons were introduced, I intended to use pistons in order to get in there, use a water lock, and I never got around to it until finally now. I've got it done, finally. Water base, check. And now, what's left? I don't know. I've done sky, I've done underground, I've done surface, I've done castle, I've done a whole number of things. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Um, maybe think of a theme. I'm not sure. But uh, I think I'm actually done for a while now. Okay then, bye-bye.